Welcome to Touchwood Management Channel. This is Yuji Nakamura. I'd like to explain what um, the touch weight is today and especially three components of touch weight on this video. Enjoy. Shall we think about three components of touch weight on this video? So touch weight or the piano, uh, the how uh, the pianist or one feels uh, when while playing piano and the sort of weight uh, the pianist needs to force push the key down to make sound uh, so we we call touch weight um, is uh, that phenomenon so uh, traditionally touch weight is indicated by combination of down weight and up weight for example down weight 52 grams up weight 26 grams or something like that so in this case down weight is the weight um, when put that certain weight in front of the key a key just slowly goes down and hammer goes up very slowly but stops when uh, the let off but uh, the jack um, touches the left off button and up weight is the weight uh, when uh, the put that certain weight uh, on in front of the key and then uh, uh, push down to let off position then release the the weight or the hand uh, then a key is going up very slowly and hammer goes down very slowly uh, down to rest position or similar a little bit above, above than rest position so uh, the traditional way of touch weight is um, set by this down weight and up weight and of course um, the, these figures are different from uh, between among manufacturers and uh, the different position and each manufacturer put their own weight onto in front of the key around in front of the key but a certain position they suggest suggest to put uh, weight on but um, the many technicians or some technicians uh, had been uh, pointed out uh, down weight up weight combination doesn't say uh, doesn't mean uh, doesn't um, reflect a complete touch weight because um, some technician when uh, re re replacing hammers uh, even set up with certain down weight and up weight uh, but the customer complained about uh, too heavy touch or, or too light touch or even uh, set up with a certain uh, down weight and up weight uh, combination which um, manufacturer the manufacturer suggested so, so many technicians was were talking about dynamic touch weight touch weight uh, that touch weight felt while playing yeah, because the measurement of down weight and up weight doesn't stand actual playing they were measured by movement at less than pianissimo playing so normal play like mezzo piano mezzo forte they feel slightly differently from not only up weight and down weight but um no one uh, clearly explained um, until recent days so two american technicians darren fandrick and john rose uh, developed a software program uh, which calculates uh, inertial touch factor uh, the effect of uh, inertial uh, inertial amount in the action yeah, they and measured um, many things and then uh, calculate inertial touch factor 
and then indicates the action is too heavy or too light or acceptable range here then a software program shows you uh, which part which parts need to be moved which way and how much or um, need to reduce hammer weight how much and so on so on and you can uh, analyze with this software program and then you can find the, uh, the acceptable uh, modification measurement uh, from this one so this is uh, the first time uh, for technicians uh, available to to, um, to check up um, inertial effect of the action however uh, they don't open of course the detail of calculation or um, what uh, the software program is actually doing uh, so the, uh, one can get uh, certain modification figures but uh, don't know uh, what uh, going in inside so like me uh, if we want if we want to know more about or need more explanation or need to understand what actually happening in the action uh, we need to think about by ourselves and I thought uh, sort of uh, reaching the point I can show uh, in people to uh, what is the inertial effect of the action and how to calculate and how to manage uh, those figures and to modify uh, the action to uh, the customer satisfy so uh, I call uh, this system touch weight management um, this uh, system uh, this system f uh, the aim aims as the managing two indi indicate indexes uh, together one index is static balance weight uh, this is the static weight uh, when uh, the the action is um, in, in balanced and also uh, another index is kinetic resistance uh, it involves moment of inertia uh, the physical phenomenon uh, so think about so the two different uh, weight uh, then finding out the way the customer satisfies to to get that action so important things of this touch weight management is understanding theory of this uh, balance weight and moment of inertia and then uh, we can manage touch weight from both sides of this phenomenon so we can uh, look at not just down weight, up weight, but more and deeply. And then uh, we can find out how the, this action should be moving while the pianist, while this, uh, the customer plays. So there are three components of touch weight. One is balance weight, which is static uh, balance weight. Uh, when uh, the action whole action is um, balanced and second a uh, friction weight uh, there are many friction points in the action such as uh, keeping and key bushing and and capstan screw and open heel cloth and uh, knuckle hammer shank knuckle and jack and revision lever uh, so many uh, friction points in the action and then all of them has friction and so uh, this friction uh, is part of touch weight and thirdly uh, the additional torque uh, which involves a moment of inertia and that torque uh, gives angular acceleration 
uh, and that amount is depends on uh, amount of momentum inertia. So this is uh, this uh, third additional torque um, gives uh, actual weight or feeling uh, while moving the action itself. So try uh, see this action, uh, the model, uh, this is a chart. Uh, if we put 40 grams of balance weight in front of the key, action balances. So when a uh, key stick moves down or a little bit up or uh, whatever, the whole action stops where I stops. Uh, let's look at actual action uh, to see what is what this means. This is the action model. Uh, I put 40 grams of weight front of the key. Um, when key moves a bit down, action, whole action stays there, stops there. It's more, it stops there still. It's more. So with 40 grams weight, uh, this action is balanced. So this 40 grams should be balance weight. But uh, if we put uh, 5 grams more, 45 grams, what happens? It's same. Even if we stop wherever possible, the action stays there still. So uh, this 45 grams, maybe the balance weight as well, you know, 48 grams, the yes, same, the same, so say 50 grams, yeah, so still slightly moving, you start moving way after this halfway, but not initial here, so we may put 50 grams. One, two, three, goes down. 52 grams, uh, the, the hammer moves up uh, to a little point. So uh, this uh, 50 grams is a down weight. So from 40 grams, we may then decrease the weight. So 35 grams is here, for example. This action doesn't have a regular button, so it's no left letting, po letting of point, but just uh, keep, uh, move up to shank parallel to the ground. So with 35 grams, still wherever stops. So 30 grams is going down and moves but stops here. So still mm, sort of balanced, within balanced area. So just a little bit less. So say 28 grams. So check up weight goes down. So this seems good up weight. So 28 grams of up weight in case maybe it tries 29 grams 29 grams the hammer doesn't go back to the rest position so we may say up weight was 28 grams so down weight 52 up weight 28 this action has has 40 grams of balance weight so uh, we found out now a balance weight of this action